Hello everybody, welcome to Coco's Crochet. I'm Lisa and this is Coco and today we're bringing you episode number four for how many ogos does it take to crochet dot dot dot. Now Coco can see her afternoon tea sitting here in her favourite bowl so I'm going to pop her down so that she can get started on that and we can have a chat. There you go. She's been so very patient, but she was just going to jump out of my arms. So welcome, welcome, everybody, to episode number four. So what is this little series all about? If you've only just joined us, let me just refresh your memory. I had a huge yarn haul about four months ago, and I purchased 60 of these Ogos in various colors. If you haven't already done so, please go and watch that video. Um, and all the other videos um, for episodes one, two, and three, um, which are in our playlist, I believe it's called Ogo oh Yarn. Now, when I um, bought those um, Ogos at the time, it was an incredible sale and they were only a dollar fifty each, reduced down from $12. In that video, I talk through all the different colors that I've purchased and I also um, show you how to use um, the Ogo if you've never um, bought one before. They are a donut of yarn, as you can see, and they come in five different colors per um, uh, donut. Um, you can either use them and let them just run and stripe on their own, and it is very large blocks of color, or you can do what I've done um, sometimes as well, which is separate your colors ball them up you know whichever way you wish and then use them that way as well so as i said in that little video the very first one when we've got our huge yarn haul of these amazing ogos you'll be able to see that in there as i said if you're not familiar with them and you'd like to know how to use them so what are they made out of they're 100 percent acrylic and they are a bulky number five yarn. They're the only ones that I've seen here in um, Australia. I'm sure that we can purchase them from overseas and maybe others have seen them in various um, thicknesses or weights of yarn. But these are the ones that I found and I wasn't going to, you know, put them aside because I knew that I would work out some way to use them all. So as we said, bulky number five, 100% acrylic. They come in 180 gram um, donuts or 6.4 ounces and they're 208 meters or 228 yards. So for a bulky weight yarn, you get quite a, you know, good amount of um, meterage or yards in here. I think so anyway. So we've been able to, you know, come uh, with a few episodes for you. But thanks to all of you who voted in our last video, not voted, made suggestions in our last video, because I did say if there was anything you guys wanted, you know, me to make, please let me know. And um, the very first suggestion came from, it's either Francis or Francis. So I'm hoping that I said your name right one way or the other. Um, let me know, was it Francis? or Francis, so one or two, because I would like to say it the right way. Anyway, the suggestion was for scrunchies. So we're going to find out how many scrunchies we got from this one Ogo. Now the color of this one is Baja, B-A-J-A, -A, I believe. There it is there. I'm never sure how to say that one. So here is my ball band, finished and ready to go into my collection for the year. So I'm very, very happy. These are humongous, so they're really satisfying when you put them in there. So let's pop our little Ogo up here with these other friends. And let's start counting how many scrunchies did we actually create from one Ogo. Let's go. Now, there's one two, three, four, <laughs> five, and six. So I think that that is so super cool that we got six scrunchies out of one Ogo. Now, two of the scrunchies, and I will show you how I made them and where I got the little pattern, um, have started off with 36 um, stitch count. And then I thought, wow, that is, you know, because it is a beautiful bulky yarn, I thought, wow, I might actually be able to reduce the stitches and still get a great finish. 
and that's what I actually did after that I reduced it to 32 stitches which means I probably could have got a little bit more out of the Ogo but that's okay because I ended up with the lucky last one with um, just a little bit made it a little bit smaller but in, I actually really like the way this one turned out as well so there you go from necessity we sometimes come up with something great so I really like the look of those as well now this is all that was left from that Ogo. I think that's fantastic. That little tiny, tiny bit of scrap. So that will definitely be going with my other scraps and I'll talk about that in a minute. Now, on the Ogo, it recommends that we use a six millimeter hook. I did use my 5.5 millimeter hook. I like to create my scrunchies with this hook and I usually use eight ply or DK weight number three yarn and I double it up but I didn't have to do that with the um, Ogo because it is a bulky yarn so that was awesome and in the middle to create them all you need for a scrunchie if you're not familiar is just a hair elastic now these ones and I've got a whole heap of black ones as well these ones were great because the you won't it was amazing because of all the different colors i was able to actually find you can't even see it in there um elastics that match the yarn perfectly so that was awesome i really really enjoyed that so when you actually start crocheting on the hair elastic it disappears not that it matters when it's in your hair but it's a nice little you know touch to it as well so the pattern that I use to create them is from Rep Repeat Crafter Me. So basically what you do, and it's a lovely pattern, I've created so many scrunchies using it. So the first row is, and this is all US terminology, is single crochets, and then you build on that with two double crochets in each single, and then in each double crochet you put in three. And that's how you get that beautiful ripply effect of the scrunchie which you need you know to um you know pop it in your hair and it looks very pretty and decorative and also um you know it's dual purpose that it has your hair up out of your way when you need it to be that way now i did get a bit creative at one stage um because i wasn't sure if i was going to run out of the different colors so i did put this sort of like striping effect almost on this one and i really did enjoy making these now I'll give you a couple of little stats on the pricing. So six scrunchies, I purchased the Ogo for $1.50. And this little pack of hair elastics, which has 30 in them in total, was $3. So that's 10 cents an elastic, which equates to, so for the whole project, it was $2.10. So it turns out that these are 35 cents each. Now, with a little bit of time to crochet them, and they do, you know, come up very, very quickly. Um, even if you're just a beginner and you're just starting out, I, I think that certainly half an hour to an hour, you'd be able to get a scrunchie done. What an awesome little gift. You can get a little, um, you know, for example, with this time of the year, with all, you know, like Easter and birthdays, or well, actually all time of the year, whatever time of the year it is, even if you've got a chocolate bar and you pop one of these on it, because that's what I was doing for Easter, getting some, you know, bunnies and uh, chocolate bunnies, and I was popping them on top so people were getting them as a gift, so they had a little scrunchie to go with their chocolate. So that's just an idea. I mean, there's endless ways that you can, you know, give these as gifts, and, you know, someone's birthday, you don't want to get something big, but you want to say, hey, I spent some time making something for you, so if you haven't already made a scrunchie, I highly recommend that you make them. They're very um, quick, very pretty. And I tell you what, everyone that I've ever given one to, young or old, has really appreciated it. And you could see the smile on their face. So that's what it's all uh, about. And very economical gift at that. So if you have some scrap yarn lying around, please try to make one and you can have any hair elastic i've got a whole heap of black ones and they're my go-to's so that's something to keep in mind you don't have to match the color to color it was just a happy you know um, coincidence that i had those colors and they match this one at this time so what am i doing with all my little scraps you ask if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes well i've made this um scrap happy tote which I've used Sarah Satcher's um, uh, pattern to do her video tutorial. And in here, so this is made out of Ogos as well. I'm popping in all my scraps. So we're collecting some, not that we had 
many to add to it this week, but they're all in there sitting there from all the previous projects, including a basket that I made um, that I use for my scraps for our cow that I'm uh, making. And that basket is from Pamela, from Pamela's Adoring Crochet. So I've managed to make that as well. So I've got some scraps in here for that. So when this bag is filled and I've, you know, completed my little mini series, how many ogos does it take to crochet dot, 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 I will then endeavor to create a project from all of them. So, well, as many of them as I can, all the scraps in here. So I'm not going to let any of them go to waste. So when that project happens, of course, I'll be sharing it with all of you as well. So um, we've got Sarah Satch that I'll link down below and Repeat Crafter Me. So this was number episode number four, as we said. So I'll just recap what we've already made. So episode number one was a whole heap of beanies. So please go and watch that episode if you haven't already done so. Episode number two was a whole heap of headbands. So, you know, please go and see that episode as well. Episode number three was all our cup cozies, which I absolutely love making. And I'm making countless ones right now, that, you know, for Mother's Day coming up. So we've got quite a few people that, you know, will um, get those, which is wonderful. And now we have our scrunchies. So episode number four done and dusted thank you so much for joining us i really love doing these projects for you and for me obviously um and i love that you've all made so many suggestions i think i have at least half a dozen suggestions so the first one was the scrunchies so tick done i will try to make as many um of the suggestions that were given to me and of course if you have any more please do not hesitate to pop them down in the comments send me an email or you know put it anywhere out there that you wish so that i can see it because i really do enjoy making things that you want to see as well but these will definitely come in great use because i know quite a few little people including myself not so little that will enjoy having one of these in their little um you know accessory hair accessories collection so thank you once again for joining us i hope you're all having a wonderful crochet day and getting everything done that you'd like rest assured the rest of these and many many more will get used so i do have quite a few episodes to make um, in our little mini series how many ogos does it take to crochet dot 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 having way too much fun with this. Until I see you all, take care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.